What's going on guys, it's you here, bringing you another review on The Walking Dead. This episode didn't really feel like season finale material, and I know a lot of people will probably agree with me on this. However, after what we got last week, we kind of needed a break from dying. <laughs> when it comes to like having lost all these people, we don't really want to lose anyone else though. There was possibilities of rumors and whatnot. Of people may have possibly dying. Uh, I even saw a rumor about Ezekiel getting bitten. Now I don't think that was going to happen this episode. It may happen later on. I don't know. But when it comes to relationships, it seems as though the King and Carol are really. I don't. I don't want to say through. I don't. And I was actually talking about this with my wife while we were watching it. Like. When you lose a child, not that we have one, but, you know, when someone loses a child and, you know, parents start looking at each other or looking at themselves, you know, do they really, like, in a situation like that, do you really get to blame anyone or yourself? Because honestly, things like that, you know, what happened to Henry, you really don't know. There's no really good answer. And in my opinion, I'm conflicted because... I don't see it being anyone's fault, you know, but Carol, and we know how Carol is, she finds it in herself to blame herself for everything, and she's not the only one. We also have Lydia feeling the same exact way, where she feels as though she can be better off being dead, and even, you know, possibly just away from the group, because if as, if she continues to stay, she thinks that, you know, there are more people going to die, she, she feels miserable we can see that but carol also sees in her how how similar they both are and i believe that moment there when we had both carol and lydia together and lydia basically had carol's dagger or knife or whatever you want to call it right right in front of her carol made had to make a decision and obviously she chose not to kill her and to me, it almost felt like a Carl situation with Negan, uh, where, you know, kind of let the killer live, but Lydia didn't really have anything to do with that, though she was the one saved by the Whispers, or wait, saved by the kingdom from the Whispers, excuse me, and she just still blamed herself, but that was the only relationship, like I said, the King and Carol are kind of what looks to be like on a break, or on bad terms because of all this but she also seems to seek out comfort from Daryl not necessarily sexually obviously or any of that but someone who really truly understands her as well uh, we had the king warning him saying basically saying you know come on man that's my girl and you know that kind of causes an issue even for Daryl because Daryl has a big appreciation for for Carol uh, from a long time and you guys know that Carol and Daryl have are go way back you know and they are they, they truly understand everything that's going on and how difficult it is and so I think it's only natural though I understand Ezekiel's concern but one thing I haven't mentioned either and that's something I thought was kind of cool was the snow there was a lot of things that I wasn't a big fan of when it comes to the snow and that was like how the walkers that popped out of the ground like daisies were like kind of like at random popping out like they should have been there the whole time or why were why was the walkers on the ground like still able to move and not be frozen like the other ones that we saw like those the, those that were frozen over that made sense though it's just the ones that are in the ground i wasn't a big fan of but things are starting to look bad things are a little stressful because they actually have to make the choice of deciding whether they should continue the, the way they were going or go through the whispers borders and crossing there in order to get home uh, and we see that it was kind of a conflict there especially for Carol and Ezekiel they didn't really want to risk it I did like how Michonne also kind of like stepped in and saying, you know, look, the reason why all this happened is because we didn't know each other. And though I feel like Michelle may also kind of carry on 
part of the responsibility for what's happened. I feel like she's also trying to amend things and make things better, which I honestly really, really like. So they do end up actually going through the sanctuary and kind of holding off there for a little bit and going and then crossing over, which again was pretty dangerous. But then back at the Alexandria home, we see how everyone's kind of gathered and oh my goodness, Negan and his jokes and commentary. I've missed Negan and I've thought this before. I don't know if I've said it, but like Negan has so much to give to the series still and I cannot wait to see him in full action in season 10 like he definitely is going to be doing some stuff uh, if he follows the comics he's going to play a major role in what's going to be coming with the whispers so I really do appreciate him kind of I guess literally to me it's like the calm before the storm when it comes to Negan and his actions like I'm looking forward to seeing what happens or even if it's not like in the comics, just to see in general what Negan does. And like the appreciation that he has for Judith, like he loves Rick Grimes' family a lot. You know, it was started with Carl and now with Judith. Like, I mean, I don't know. I don't think he has any connection with RJ, obviously, but he cares for those two kids. Obviously, with Judith, he's a, she's a lot like Carl. She's a lot like Rick. And I think that's part of the reason why Negan is so close to her, and like her being the only one to talk to him, I mean that that says a lot. And like Negan's actions to go out of his way and saving her, like I thought that was awesome. I thought that was kind of cool how they had the that line where everyone was together, and how it reminded me of the day after tomorrow. I thought that was kind of cool. But thankfully, everyone does get safe. You know, Negan actually gets an injury, but. Michonne talks to him and actually thanks him and we do see a little bit of the whispers in this episode uh, mostly Alpha and Beta and Alpha I guess taking the whipping for whatever reason she feels necessary she gets a whipping from Beta but then the episode ends with Ezekiel talking with Judith through the radio and then like what we all thought was going to be maybe Rick talking through the, the radio we hear a voice and it, all they say is Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? That's kind of all we hear, and the episode ends. And to me, that's very frustrating because it's like, it opens up a can of worms, and we don't know who it is, who the, that person was. And honestly, to me, I feel like this could lead into another video that I may make, but overall, it was a decent episode. But guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I'll catch you later.